So what can I do for you, Father O'Malley, O'Connell, O'Carroll, O'Reilly, O'Brien, O'Sullivan? Uh, who is also Italian. Tell me, Anderson, what is your favorite thing to do? Spreading the word and love of Jesus Christ to the many people of the world, teaching peace and love for all. And the killing of vampires? Ah, just try to fucking stop me. And what about the Protestants? Second verse, same as the first. Now put me on a plane so I can put them in a hearse. Fine, I'll give you the courtesy. The name's... Alexander Anderson. Oh, fuck all kinds of duck. You have been chosen to reveal my existence to the world. You will witness what happens here today, and you will tell of it later. Except you won't! The all killed you! <laughs> oh my, brilliant speech. And unoriginal. That's totally from Boondog Saints. What? No, it isn't. I came up with it a week ago. Count Chuck. Decapitation! Master! Well, now that that's over, how about we go back to my place for a bowl of my favorite cereal, Frankenbit? Oh, son of a Protestant whore! Well, you know what time it is. It's a shame for you lost your head. A careless vampire wound up dead. You wore your sin like it was some kind of prize. Too many lies, too many lies. Say your prayers, wee lass! That girl belongs to me. Well, aren't you the naughty one? Don't make me shoot you in the fucking head. What the hell do you want, you crazy Protestant bastard? I'm a woman. Call yourself whatever you want, you crazy Protestant bastard. You do know this is a grave violation of our agreement. And what part would that be? The part where you're here, killing my men. <laughs> I have no idea what you're on about. I'm just here doing my job. Killing vampires and werewolves and leprechauns. I never actually found one, but do you think if I cut one open with my knife it would spill out Lucky Charms? Just shut up. Where the hell is Alucard? Oh, uh, him? I killed him! Killed him? Cut off his bloody head! Oh, well, that's step one. What about two through ten? Ah, Christ! You done goofed. How the blood-soaked Protestant hell did you do that? Fuck you, that's how. You know what? I've had enough of this. To hell with all your dirty heathen! And the sun! Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. You got me a present? Kiss the sun lest he be angry, and you perish from the way when his wrath is kindled but a little. <laughs> right this way, Grid B. That's right, right in front of everyone else. You're 18, you're used to it. We're going to look at art and paintings, which I believe are also art. I don't know, I'm cockney, I'm uncultured. Uh, well, my bone is gone. Aye, kind of a mood killer. You wanna try this again some other time? Of course, kill you later, you monstrous heathen. You too, you Catholic sociopath. Whoops, tautology! The terrorist duo inside is comprised of a young British woman and some Ozzy Osbourne looking motherfucker. Um. Okay, dude, I just I just finished and we need like five minutes over here to recharge. Uh. Never mind, we're back in business! Yeah. I've got it! <laughs> oh great, and now she's triggered. Could be all day with it. The good lord has handed down a blessing to you filthy heathens as a sign of goodwill. A small private Vatican jet. Now, if you would be so very Christian-like to ship your sorry pale ass out, and take your trigger-happy harlot with you, and the woman... Don Qua. Man, I don't know what I find funnier. The Catholic Church strong-arming you into helping us. Or the fact that you obviously haven't seen what I did to the statue of Big J. I see. Now it's open season for these heathen swine. Alexander, while I mirror your fever delay still upon the soulless jaws of the English church, we have a much bigger fall knocking at our door. Then knock at the door of Helsing, and as the wolf huffs and puffs, we shall skewer these pigs ourselves. 
I do not know the metaphor of which you draw, but regardless, we must set aside the quarrels of our houses and unite under the banner of God. Ah, oh, I see. So this is a crusade! No, 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 no. We don't say that anymore. We're calling it da. Uh... Damn, what do the American cows say? Peacekeeping? Right! Now, shall we keep the peace? More millennium! <laughs> Only until it's time to slide in the night! God's assassin, Guilty. See angels dust. Judas Priest. Wait, like the band? They were named after him. Why? Jove, you fucking header of a woman! Surrounded by 50 vampire Nazis armed literally to the teeth! And what do you do? You get out of your fucking car, pull out your sword, cut off one of their heads and yell, Come at me, you crowd shits! No wonder Alicorn wants to plow that virgin soil! I'm thinking about throwing some flowers myself! <laughs> Alexander Anderson. To what do I owe the unexpected pleasure? Ah, you know, just out and about with me posse. Posse? And look, you know how your pet vampire has got his own pet vampire? Well, that got me thinking, so I acquired some learned youngsters myself. Two of them, which is twice as good. And here's the real kicker. One's Japanese, and the other one's fucking German. Ain't that topical? I just need an Italian one, and I've got me an axis of righteousness. Yumi, say something in Moonspeak. Hi. <laughs> and the German one's Heichel, she shoots things, it's great. Pop, pop, watch and Havens drop. The Asterians, we're not scared of you. Look at you, you don't even know how to use a bayonet. It goes on the gun, idiot. Now if you'll excuse us, you English cow, it's time for the Asterians to do your job for you and put these soulless bodies where they belong. In the ground, in case you didn't take ah! In case you didn't take my meaning. Cheers, Who are we? The necessary evil. Why are we necessary? To purge the world of evil worse than man. And why are we God's chosen few, ordained to undertake this unholy task? Because no one else will. And because it's fucking fun. 